So this is the car. It was my grandfather's originally. And back here, behind the rear wheel well, yeah, this is really nice here. The frame. It's okay here. But then we get back to where they welded a bracket for a hitch. And it's pretty roasty toasty in here. I don't know what to do, like at all. It's the same on the other side. Let's go to the other side. It's, uh, yeah, mostly like up in here and stuff. Yeah, that's bad. It might be too far gone. I don't, I don't know. But that's at the back of the trunk pan. We can see the massive propane tank in there. So, coming in from the back, we've got those front bolts. Those are about six inches away from the frame where the mangling is. So I'm not sure how that can be done up. If we would have to take this out or if it's okay to ground to somewhere else, I'm not sure. To the bolt, if we follow it back here. We're okay there. It's not until back here, it's all mangled. It's a really nice running car with about that many miles on a brand new rebuilt engine and transmission. 460 big block. It's a big hood. Yeah, we've got the fold up lids, electric actuators, and LEDs in there with halos. Under here, big block 460. On propane, there's the propane line, there's the filter, there's the warmer once the water from the hot water heater, whatever, hoses, that warms it up. It goes out into the carb. It's not really a carb, it's a big bowl with the base butterfly plate of a Holly 650 under there, four barrel. It's the biggest bowl they make. Yeah, it's a little dusty, but totally rebuilt. New exhaust, rebuilt transmission.